welcome to my channel, Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim, and if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos and checking it out, I hope you enjoy what you hear and see. And if you're returning from a previous video, as always, thank you for your continued support. We are here for a double um, video. We're going to do a... Oh, that was Moogie. That's her growl. <laughs> She thinks she sees something. She's checking it out. Okay, so we are here for a double video. We are gonna do an unboxing of a Crystal Canvas Art Designs canvas, and we are gonna kit it up. Yeah, so um, I decided to add another project to the mix because I'm not busy enough and I don't not get enough done as it is, so why not? Hey, hold on. All right, she settled. So um, this I wanted to do, my son bought me this for Christmas last year, and it is starting to get that season, not Christmas, but it's getting to the season of this specific, oh my goodness, whew. I swear I was trying to speak five different languages that I didn't know. Specific canvas, it's getting to that season. Yes. So, um, here it is. <laughs> um, yeah. Fall, guys. We are, we are headed into fall of 2024. Like, what the heck? Um, and it is a 50 by 70. So... I wanted to do this and hang it up on the patio um, so my son could see it. I thought that would be fun. So yeah, that it was like, I was like thinking to myself, I really wanted to work on something else and I was back and forth on what exactly that canvas was going to be. And I decided, you know what, I would love for my son to see this hanging up on the porch one day. You know, when, when we uh, decorate for fall outside, which all of our neighbors have done already. And Bob keeps saying, we got to up our game. We got to up our game. <laughs> She's so funny. All right, toolkit. So, yeah, we're going to unbox this baby. This is the canvas. Here are the crystals. Oh, they gave us some special. Oh, this is from DP with Sparklers. Oh, I guess they work with them. Very cool. Uh, I, I might have mentioned them a time or two on my channel. <laughs> All right, so there is no sticker sheet. That's interesting. Is there? No. They don't do a sticker sheet? I can't remember. It's been a hot minute. Um... Hold on. All right. So, there's no sticker sheet in this one. Um, here is the toolkit. It's very basic. Very basic. Uh, you just have a one single placer brass tip drill pen with a square piece of wax. Remember guys, if you're new to diamond painting, they do have this film on both sides. Peel back one side and stab your pen into it. A squishy for comfort. As you can see, some of my stickers fell off. Oh, and a black sparkly diamond painting tray. Very cool. I'm going to keep this sucker out. Okay. Um, also, what came in it is a frosted sample. Yeah, so a frosted sample, and that's what they look like. These are squares. Is this square? No, this is a round. These are squares. Okay. Let's get to the canvas, guys. Ta-da! Can we, can we zoom out? No, we can't. Hold on. There we go. There is the whole canvas in its entirety. It is so cute. 
Oh, and thank God, I was a little nervous because, you know, I did do a Crystal Canvas Art Designs and it was so confetti heavy. Um, very, um, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it, but it's, it was that. <laughs> That's what I cannot think of. No, it, it was, um, it was not expected. Okay. It was very unexpected. And, and I was nervous. I was like, are they all like that? No, they're not guys. This has a lot of line blocking for the shiplap in the back. Love that for me. Um, and then even the flowers, like not too crazy, right? Oh, I'm excited about this now. So excited. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, so there, some of them have guide circles and some of them don't. Like, okay, for instance, that, well, I guess they are guide circles, but see, it's so faint. Like, unless I pull it up to the camera, I can't tell. Like the Q and the N don't look like guide circles until I'm this close. But then, you know, obviously the two is very obvious. Yeah, they do have um, guides, I guess. They're not guide circles. Like guide circles would be black or gray round lines, but they're not, they're white circles. See how the K is? How the K has a very faint, slight color difference. That's how I prefer it. But you see how the dash has a very white and then a very colored, or the D and the F, but then look at the K, right? So the K, if the K's placement is a little off, yeah, doesn't matter. But those guys, you gotta place a little, a little better or you're gonna see those white lines around them. That's fine. This is big for outside. This is the biggest that I'll be hanging up outside but I think it will still look very pretty out there especially since now I have blue blue cushions out front I'm gonna love this outside can't wait to finish it um yeah so excited about this one. Oh, I I actually sent my son like four or five different canvases and I was like pick one Pick the one that you like the best. And this is the one he picked. And I'm so happy he did. Um, so what I'm going to do for my labels is actually I'm just going to write them out. <clears throat> well, I have an idea. You guys might think it's crazy, but... Um, yeah, I kind of have an idea. I might do something different with these because I kind of like having the color. I'm just going to write them out. No, I'm just going to write them out. Okay. So I'm going to paint. Okay. I'm sorry. This is an unboxing. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm thinking about the kit up. Let's do a quick tour of this canvas. Uh, if you've never done a can crystal canvas art designs, obviously it's called crystal canvas art. It is a full crystal canvas. Um, at the top, it has crystal canvas art designs, a paint by number concept, and then their um, website. Okay. They do have a thumbnail as well as a, a legend on both sides of the canvas. It is a 50 by 70. And you can see here, um, it's one through eight is one through eight. And then they do do the, the um, alphabet in order. And then there's one, two, three, four, five symbols. And there's 30 colors in this. So perfect. Um, the bottom, they have two little diamond uh, logos and then they have glitter shimmers and shines very cute this is not poked and scalloped and all that I don't mind when it's not I don't care it is a little felty on the back it is a little sparkly in the front it's 
very nice. It's, it's a nice canvas. It's a little on the thinner side than what we're used to, um, but it's nice. This is a little thinner. You can hear it crinkles a little more. That's okay. You, I did show you up close. The symbols are very clear, very clear. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so pretty. All right, gonna do a quick pan over, be right back. Hope you enjoyed that pan over. We're gonna, we are gonna look at the colors. And what we'll do is, is we'll go ahead and keep them in order laid out because then we're gonna keep them right up, okay? So we have one bag of one, which is this red. And obviously these aren't DMC because well, they could have DMCs to them, but they don't because it says color number three, four, which aren't DMC colors. Yeah. So here's number two, another red. Number three is this like amber. Number four is another amber, different, like a lighter shade. Oh, five is this gorgeous copper. Six is more yellow, gold. Seven is kind of in between. Eight is a darker yellow. Nine is this gorgeous blue. Ten is a pink. Eleven is another pink. 12 is a purple. Ooh, 13 is a darker. Wow, that's a really pretty orange. 14. 15, lots of different variants of yellows and golds. That's a white. That's our 16. Ooh, I love this pink. Another pink, that's even prettier, I think. Oh, getting darker and darker. And then this is a very pale lavender. Ooh, look at that. Yes, love that blue, that aqua. Oh, that's like a periwinkle. Yes. I'm gonna call this cornflower. Yeah, oh my goodness. So excited about this. I'm so glad I picked this one because honestly, there's there's a couple that were on my list as possibles. One of them was a Dreamers Designs, but I'm already doing the big Dreamers Designs, so I wanted to do a different company. Look at that. That's like a champagne. Yes. Love it. Okay guys, so here's our 30 colors. Now, what am I gonna kit this up in you ask? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I think maybe we're gonna do it in this. Remember I got this from AliExpress and I told you guys I would let you know what I thought about this versus the real Elizabeth Ward. Well, here's our opportunity if, I mean, if we can fit all of these colors in here. Now, the only reason why I say that, like, yes, there's 30 colors, but there are 
quite a few heavy bags. And you know, I don't have as many large ones in this as I did, as I do the Elizabeth Ward, because I have two to like mix and match. So this one would need this, this one would need that, this one would need this. I guess let's just do it this way. I don't even know if it's going to fit into these. Like, I don't even know if, if this is, if these are going to work, you know what I mean? But so I'm trying to give it to the heavier bags first. And then the less heavy bags can get the super small ones. Okay, so remember I just kitted down the last kit I finished and it I had to use goof off to get the labels off and it was an Elizabeth Ward. Yeah, that was a pain in the, in the, in the tush. So we're gonna use removable stickers. I do have removable stickers. So let me grab them. These are the removable. Are these them? No. These are them. They're very small. Okay. So we are going to write on these. Now, will they fit on here like that? Okay. All right. And I'm just going to copy this legend over to each sticker. Hopefully we only need one. Now, I do think that there's some static in some of these. Okay. I'm gonna bring you guys in now. Sorry. good there. Okay, so I need a pen. Oops, a pen. All right. Um, so we have one through eight. Six, seven, eight, A, C, D, F, G, H, J, H, J, K, N, Q, R, T, Q-R-T. Mm 
Now, N U Q. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, N, Q, R, T, U. And then we have, and that's the last of the small ones. So then we have. V, W, V, W, X, Y, X, Y, and then we have hashtag and, so bad at making those, question mark, The slash and then the percent sign. All right. All right. I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, is anybody ready for fall? Has anybody decorated outside yet? Like all of our neighbors, they, they've been out all week decorating and we have not done anything. Um, part of the reason being, you know, Moogie was just fixed on Tuesday, so it is Thursday night. Moogie had her spay and microchipping on Tuesday, and so we've been, you know, taking care of her post-op. And um, tonight we're gonna actually sleep in the bedroom but for the past two nights, we were sleeping in the living room with her because we didn't want her jumping. Um, not that, and then, and, uh, of course, she's still not allowed to jump. She's not allowed to free run. She's not allowed to jump. She's not allowed to do any of the things she loves to do. It's been, it hasn't been as horrible as I thought it would be. Like she has her moments where she just starts getting kind of stir crazy. And, but, um, you know, obviously post-op day one, she was just sleeping a lot. And then she kind of got a little rainy at the end of the night. And then yesterday I walked her a couple times. Um, and that seemed to help keep her kind of calm. So the precautions are no free running. Like it doesn't even say anything about jumping, but of course we've just been trying to keep her from doing that. Um, and that's why we didn't sleep in the bed but it's funny because she's so long that she uh she she doesn't jump off the bed she's not a very athletic dog is what I tell people it's um kind of funny she uh she will drop her front paws down and then she'll just walk off the bed that's how long she is so I got her a surgical suit. I'm gonna insert a photo here of um, her in her surgical suit post-op. And she doesn't mind it at all. Uh, and I got her this because I talked to some people at the, I can't say the word because she'll get triggered, but the D-O-G-P-A-R-Ks. And um, they were telling me that they got suits for their dogs so that they didn't have to wear cones. Um, my girlfriend gave me a donut, but she was scared of it. So I went ahead and I ordered, thank God for Amazon, because I literally ordered it on Tuesday morning and we got it Tuesday night. 
you want, but you know, like a couple hours after she got home, it came in the mail. And she was too out of it to like worry about looking down there. But like right after, like right when she started to think about it, I like looked and saw that it was delivered. So we just went outside and got it and put it on her. So far, these have been fitting perfectly. No issues. There we go. So, yeah, we've been busy with her and just trying to keep her safe. Um, she is one of my neighbors who just had their dog neutered in January. Um, she told me that they gave her like two weeks worth of sedative to keep him calm because, you know, so that he wouldn't do any damage. And so I kind of thought, I was like, oh, well, that makes sense because a couple of people were like, you're going to have to sedate her. So I was like, yeah, people have been saying that, but they did not give me a sedative for her. Um, they only gave me pain meds. And so I, I did ask them, like, do you give sedatives? And they were like, we don't like to. Um, but if she's, you know, if you feel like it's necessary, just give us a call and we'll talk to you about it. Uh, it hasn't been necessary. Um, but you know, we just been, I've, like I said, I've just been walking her and every day just taking her on a longer and a longer walk, depending on, you know, how randy she seems. And today I took her on a long walk. And when we got home, I fed her lunch and she, her appetite has been really good. So that's good. Um, so when we got home, she ate all of her lunch and I gave her something to chew. And she, the problem is now her teeth are so strong, like nothing lasts more than like 30 minutes. So we got to be careful with that too. Um, for two reasons. One, you know, that she's not swallowing too big of pieces and two, that she you know, doesn't get overweight from chewing and eating too many things. Like right now, I'm giving her extra chews because, you know, it is it is kind of an exercise. It does help make her tired. So, um, you know, just because she she's limited on what she can do, I have been giving her extra chews. Her chew drawer was like super full because I was taking her to PetSmart um, every week just to give, just to go on adventures with her. And I would pick out like three or four chews every time I went. And so the drawer was like full, but now <laughs> it's almost empty. I'm like, oh my God, I got to restock now. But yeah, her incision, crazy. Her incision is so small. Like, you know, obviously they're like, you, you have to inspect it every day. Her incision is probably a third of what Soju's was. And Soju was a pug and super small. And her incision was like three or four inches long. But Moogie's incision is... I'm going to put a picture up here, like literally an inch, if that, so small, three, three stitch sutures. Like even my daughter, when she saw it, she was like, oh my God, Soju's was so long. It was like her entire belly, but yeah, uh, you know, I guess they get better every year. So yeah, I was super happy to see that. And I was like, it's so high up on her. I said to Bob, I wonder if she can even reach it. Well, she can, she could totally reach it. Cause I, I take off the suit 
to walk her and just put her harness on and um she laid down and i could see that she could totally bend over and reach she hasn't but i could see that that would be a possibility so yeah she definitely needs the suit but the good thing is is that she doesn't mind the suit at all she doesn't like when i take her out and i take it off and i walk her um, when we get back, she does not fight me. She just comes right up to me and she lets me put it on her. She's just such a good dog. It's crazy. And, um, so because of that, <laughs> I was like, so cool. We could totally dress her up. <laughs> um, which Bob would be totally against, 100% against, if I didn't say to him, I'm buying her a Raiders jersey. He didn't say anything when I said that. Um, but I plan on buying her a Raiders and an Eagles jersey because we are Philadelphia Eagles fans as well. Um, and honestly, I'm a forced football fan because I married into a football family. <laughs> um, and uh, like when I first married into this family bob was bob and his brothers were asking me like who's your team and i was like i don't know i guess the eagles like because my my dad and my pop love the eagles you know like all grown up that's what i heard about and they're like no you gotta pick a team and i'm like uh i don't know like can't be the eagles and they're like no, you gotta pick a team. And I'm like, okay. Well, it turns out, then I was like, oh, I guess it's the Raiders because my husband loves the Raiders. And, and now, like, honestly, if I had to pick a team, it would be the Eagles because that's what I grew up on. That's what reminds me of my, my dad and my pop. And yeah, I do have some, you know, even though I say all the time, like I wish my family had put roots down in a different state. <laughs> um, I am from here and I grew up here and I was born here. And so I do have some pride, some New Jersey and Philly pride. So yeah. I'm, I want her to have an Eagles jersey too. And so, you know, she could wear, when the, the Raiders play, she could wear her Raiders jersey. And when the Eagles play, she can wear the Eagles jersey. And yeah, I'm excited that I can, cause you know, it's funny. Soju hated wearing clothes. Like she would have a huge problem Thank God she was a meatball and she couldn't bend in half and lick an incision. So we didn't have to worry about a cone or a cushion or a donut or anything. She, she couldn't reach it anyway. So it wasn't an issue because it would have been a problem. <laughs> she would have had a problem with all of the above. She hated getting dressed up. But yeah, it's nice to see that Mookie is not too opposed to it. You know what I'm loving about these? I don't know if you've noticed that I have not used a tool to open these. But I have been using my fingernail and they've been opening very easily. This kid up is going by crazy easy um yeah so the reason another reason why and the two that i was thinking about they were both rounds so my idea is this i'm gonna do this one and if i do it very quickly um then i can fit another one of those in um and if that's the case, then awesome. If oh, no, we got 
one in here. If if not, then then not. You know. Um, the puppies and butterflies is is very slow going. I have a lot to say about that canvas, and um, it it hasn't been my favorite. Um, but I have a lot to say about it, and so I feel like I'm gonna be. I'll work on it, but not as aggressively because even when I am aggressively working on it, it's taken me forever to get through a row. Um, so, I don't know. It's also like a spring slash summer canvas and we're in September. So we'll see how I feel. You know, I, I would like to continue it and finish it this year. Um, but I would like to move on to something more seasonal as well. So that's why I've chosen to do this. And I feel like this is, you know, I'm, I'm really close to finishing the Dreamers designs. Um, I decided, because I, I just posted a, a picture of a row that I just finished and I wrote on there three more rows to go, but I actually decided to break it up into two. So, um, yeah, it's gonna get finished sooner than later. Um, it's definitely gonna be done in September. I think I can, I think I can commit to that. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. And then, so if I get that done, right, and I get this done, and I'm working on the puppies and butterflies, then maybe I can get another one done. Wow, I love this color. This color looks like glass. So pretty. I should have pulled the tray over. Let me get that black tray. Let's see what they look like in this tray. So pretty in this black tray. They look like glass. Twenty one is you. Jeez, nine more to go. We're almost done. This has been a super fast kit up video. Um, so that's what's been consuming my week. Um, honestly, I miss my adventures with Moogie because what I would do is is like. I take her everywhere. Even my, my neighbors were like, what do you, when I dropped her off, I came back and I was like all sad. And I was like really upset, honestly, because they had me walk her back to the crate. And she would, she started shaking when he went to put her in. And I was upset because I, I, I didn't want to see that. Like, I've never seen her like that scared, like, I mean, I've only seen her like startled or something, not scared, but she was scared. Like her whole body was shaking and he was like very gently, like talking sweet to her, coaxing her. He didn't force her, coaxed her into the, into the crate and she walked in, but she was terrified. She was like shaking and I had to like say goodbye to her and leave. And I felt awful. Like I was like really sad. And um, so when I got home, like my neighbors were outside and they were like, oh, you just dropped her off. And I said, yeah, and they're like, and they could tell I was sad and they were like, she'll be all right. And then they were like, what are you gonna do without her all day? Cause you're with her all the time. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. Well, I cleaned, I cleaned the heck out of the house. Like I vacuumed, I mopped. Um, 
I, I, I literally felt like I was nesting. I told the guy when he was like putting her in the crate, I told him, I was like, I swear I gave birth to her. Like, I just wanted him to know, like, this is my child. Treat her well. <laughs> um, because she came from my womb, okay? Like, my actual womb. <laughs> but no, he, he was like, I love Roddy's. They, this is my favorite breed. Like, he's he, he has seen her there before and actually, like, came out from behind the counter and was like, can I, before, like while we were waiting for her appointment, he's like, oh, I want to pet her. And she's so cute. And he sat out there with her for like 15 minutes petting her when she was like really little. Yeah, he, I knew he really liked Roddy's. But um, 26 is hashtag. Yeah, so. I don't know when and but when we picked her up I was like she's gonna hate me and she came out of the crate and she like walked right up to me and like put her head in my lap I was I was like oh I mean she was dopey she was walking sideways <laughs> and her eyes were so bloodshot and I sat in the back seat with her I have a picture of her in the back seat with me um but let me tell you something you know how I keep saying she's not like really super lovey or anything? Well, I swear, like I told Bob, I'm sleeping on the floor. And so we piled up all these blankets on the floor. Um, let me tell you, my hips were killing me, killing me. I do not like sleeping on the floor. My hips were killing me. My back was killing me. But she was, and I said to him, I said, I bet you she's going to sleep on her cot or she's going to sleep in the kitchen. Like, I honestly did not think she was going to sleep with us. And he was like, no, she's going to sleep with us. And I was like, I don't think so because that's not her MO. Well, he was right. She curled up on our blanket and... She slept with us and she was like so lovey. Like she literally, if she heard something, she immediately picked her head up and looked to see, make sure I was still there. Like she was afraid I was leaving or something. And um, I had to keep petting her through the night. Like if she woke up, I guess she would get upset. Like, and she wanted me to pet her and I would have to pet her till she fell asleep. Um, and yeah, she, now, when she's, like, right now, she used to sleep all the way at the end of my table. Now, she, like, I can't even roll my chair up because her head's right there. And she, like, lays her, her head on my foot now. She, um, sleeps with her head on my foot, which is, she's just become very... And I guess it's because we took care of her when she was sick. So her first night, she would not drink any water. She would not eat. Um, we weren't. We were instructed not to feed her. We did not try to feed her. But she would not drink any water. We kept trying to give her water. Her tongue was so dry. Like when she would, when she would yawn, her tongue looks like so tacky and like dry. So we were trying to get her to drink water and she would not drink water. Well, All right, guys, here it is. That is so pretty. Um, so, so far, I can tell you, if you feel bad that you have not been able to get a real Elizabeth Ward, don't feel bad. I, I can already tell you that I love these just as much. Um, I, I think that 
Uh, so a couple people had commented saying that they can't afford the, the original Elizabeth Ward, so they, they get these. And um, they were telling me, like, almost $100. Like, what the heck? Helen? H-E double hockey sticks. No, not worth it. Like, no. B, this is 100% just as good I feel like so far I have had zero issues it was super easy to kit up in um if anything I like the fact that these are a little easier to open it still has that very um yeah they're still secure they're just you know oh yeah these are great um honestly I don't need more kit up stuff because you know I do keep um my whips to a minimum but i feel like i want more of these <laughs> yeah i also do like this little feature how there's a like a nub and this fits into the nub and snaps in i don't know why i do like that um but yeah i'm really loving this so yeah, like I said, if you can't get your hands on a, a Elizabeth Ward, then I would not lose one single point zero 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 second of sleep on it. These are perfect. All right, guys. Um, so just to finish my story, because I know that I was telling you. So her first night she would not drink any water um and then she woke up at 3 a.m dry heaving like i heard i heard her dry heaving and i jumped up and she didn't actually throw up but then at 5 a.m she did throw up quite a bit um and then she was fine then she ate all of her breakfast she was starving because she didn't eat at all you know she was completely fasted on tuesday and then she ate all of her lunch and all of her... Oh, well, that being said, we fed her less for breakfast. We only fed her like a third of her normal meal and then two thirds at lunch and then a full dinner um, because, you know, we just were worried that she was going to get sick, but she tolerated all of that plus chews. And then now today she was on her full meals and yeah, she's doing really well. So thank you for everyone who was thinking about her. Um, they said five to seven days, no free running, only leash walking. And then, yeah, uh, I don't know about taking her. I, I won't, I won't take her to a DOG PARK until she can get her stitches out, which I think is two weeks from now. Um, prior to that, we will take her over. There's like a run in our area where there's no other dogs and, you know, we can just have her run um, and chase balls and sticks and stuff like that. So that's our plan, but uh, she definitely misses her friends. And yeah, that is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and kit up and kitten chat. Um, yeah, I will be posting some, oh, hmm. Let me see if I can match the washi. Let me see, hold on. Let me see what I have. Okay, guys, I'm going to use this pen this is actually from DP Gal Creations. I don't think that they're doing pens yet, but I haven't been on her Etsy shop. I know that they're that they're selling trays again, but I don't know if they're doing pens again. And honestly, I love this pen except that it is a little actually maybe maybe I've I've grown up a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say I love this pen except that it's a little on the thicker side, but it's pretty heavy. It has pine cones in it um, and then dried leaves and flowers. So it is pretty heavy, but honestly, it doesn't feel bad in my hand at all. So I'm actually really loving it. Yeah, so we're going to use this because I think it matches. And then I found this in my... Where's the end? I found this in my washi stash. 
And I think this came with like, like a Halloween bundle that I got from Amazon. I think that this was one of the like 10. Isn't that cute? So yeah, we're gonna use this washi with it. All right, and that's all I have for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you wanna see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kimba's Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care, keep diamond painting.